Hello everybody, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are in this amazing world. My name is Donovan Jolly, and welcome everybody once again for another amazing video of DIY investing. I wanted to go through and give you guys an update on Chainlink. I recently bought more and did accumulate some for my long term. I know I recently said that I wasn't going to be doing that, but we fell enough to a low significant that I felt like I was comfortable enough actually taking the risk. This is a cryptocurrency that has been outperforming the rest of the market since 2019, and I expected to have an Ethereum-like bull run in which how Ethereum performed back in 2017. There's a lot more upside potential still left to come. And I wanted to give you guys a couple more updates on how I'm going to be personally trading this market and how I'm going to be maximizing the fullest potential of this next cycle. If you're new and just finding this channel, always remember to do me a favor by leaving a like, comment, and subscribing to this channel for more updates. Make sure that you guys click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos like the one provided for you here. And always remember, guys, I have the fastest growing and the very best Discord community out there for cryptocurrency, and I would love it if you guys would join. It's free for anybody that wants to. All you guys got to do to join is to click inside of the description of this video, and there you're going to find the invitation link to my Discord server. Now, once you guys have access, I also offer my more exclusive content like the video course and signals. So if you guys would like to get access with all the trades that I take, or you guys would like to follow along with my 20 educational video series to teach you guys how to invest, make sure you stay all the way to the end of this video because I'm going to be taking a couple minutes to explain how you guys can get signed up, the pros of doing so, and what it's going to take to get you guys going today. I also wanted to mention that you guys can download my free ebook as well. It's over 38 pages packed full of exciting information that's going to teach you guys all of the basics to understanding trading and investing inside of these cryptocurrencies. It's got a bunch of terminology that you guys can study, and it also has a quiz that you can take and test yourself upon all of the knowledge and resource learned inside of that book. So make sure you guys click inside the description, download that free ebook, click on my website and get access today. And with all that being said guys let's jump right into this amazing video today Alrighty guys, so here we are taking a look at Chainlink on the three day time frame. Now a couple major updates, I did actually go ahead and buy some more Chainlink the other day. And so this thing has bounced pretty much instantaneously from where I bought. I managed to pick some Chainlink up back down here at about $7.90, so approximately right here. We managed to get filled, so we pretty much nailed the exact bottom on here, and we're already up a significant amount of profit. In fact, we're about up. 35, 36%. And so this thing's looking really solid. Now I wanted to give you guys a couple updates here because I know that I said I wasn't going to be accumulating any chain link, but then we fell in within single digits. And so then I just figured it was a perfect opportunity to do so. I also saw us correcting over 60% from our recent highs. You know, about 65% to the lowest point that we hit. And I just saw that as a steal. I mean, generally speaking, guys, if you look in a bull run and you find a market that tips, you know, 40, 50, 60%, and then you buy that dip, more often than not that you're going to be in profit because of that. And so that's the way I've looked at this. Chainlink has been the market leader since 2019. I'm strongly expecting it to continue to lead this market as we go into this next cycle. And so I just wanted to make sure that I was accumulating a little bit more, figured it was a perfect opportunity. 60% discount is a steal, which is actually the price that I bought it out was 60% down. And so I just looked at that as an amazing opportunity. And that's the way you guys got to have to reprogram your subconscious mind, your belief systems when it comes to actually investing into these markets. Because whenever you're in a bull market and you see coins selling off like this, you got to do your part to accumulate them because it's all just discounted prices. It's not that the, the world is here. It's not that we're crashing and going to zero. It's literally just the fact that you're picking it up at a discount. And sure, maybe you buy up here a little bit higher and you see it go lower. That is fine. That's going to be the way that this market goes. All that matters is that you're accumulating in the dips because that's what's going to statistically put you at the advantage over above above the rest of the market. So just pay attention for that, guys. Now, what I see currently and what I've kind of been updating you guys with is I've just looked at this as just a bigger scale A, B, C correction. And I obviously bought at $7.90 expecting that this could be the bottom. Um, but now when I'm looking at this, guys, it is very possible that we could get rejected where we're at roughly. Uh, and it is possible that we could sell off for one more low that would take us closer to about six bucks. Um, this is something I'm watching out for. Uh, if this is the case, I'm actually going to be looking at that as a really exciting opportunity, and I actually prefer that Chainlink goes down for a leg lower so I can buy more. Uh, I did manage to accumulate quite a bit right here. I want to accumulate a lot more, and so I'm expecting and really just more or less hoping instead of expecting. I'm hoping for a lot more downside so I can actually go ahead and buy and accumulate some more because that's going to be my biggest goal right now is just to buy as much crypto as I can in this dip because like I stated, guys, I'm expecting that this bull run is going to be heavy. It's going to have a 
lot of hype. And for that, you know, there's going to be a lot of opportunity for us to accumulate. And with us being in this low point of the trend where everything's kind of choppy, a lot of back and forth action, now is when you do want to be accumulating it because that's where you're going to make the biggest ROIs during those dips. And so when I see this, you know, this could technically be the bottom uh, before we actually start impulsing much higher. We could have already finished the correction and I bought uh, right down in here at the low point of that. Or, you know, maybe we do get one more low that takes us closer to six bucks. Either way, I'm going to be ready to buy the dip because at the end of the day, I've accumulated the entire way down this. I'm going to continue to do that because that's the way my trading plan goes. You know, I look at this as just a more or less a huge good buying opportunity before we do get a lot more upside because this to me, guys, just reminds me a lot of early day Ethereum. And if we come over here, guys, you're going to start to understand what I mean. Basically, in the very beginning stages of the last bull run, Ethereum was the first one to make that first higher high on that trend. Went through this accumulation phase, we rallied up really hard, and then after this initial sell-off, we started to break out, and then that's really where the biggest majority of that parabolic run came. And so, this is really what I'm watching out for with the rest of the market. I expect this to be very similar as far as just when these markets go parabolic, they fly, and they go up so fast, so quick, that if you weren't accumulating in the dips beforehand, you're just going to have to miss out on that. And I mean, this dip itself, this reminds me a lot of what we're seeing today inside of Chainlink. The only difference is the dip is happening a little bit differently. This one produced about a 40% sell-off. Uh, and then pretty much just made higher highs all the way through. Whereas if we look at Chainlink, we can see that this is just a 60% drawdown from the hot, from the top. And so this is going to be the way that market cycles work, guys. It's never going to behave exactly 100% the same, but there is oftentimes a lot of similarities here. And we can see that, in my opinion, we're seeing enough similarities that makes me feel very bullish on Chainlink because it looks similar to me. I mean, we went through the accumulation. This was our first higher high. And then this is really where we first started going parabolic. And we can see that Ethereum did similar things accumulation this was the first higher high we start going parabolic here and i th honestly just think that we're somewhere in between this you know obviously it looks like we could be experiencing more of a correction like this it looks like we're getting a little bit of a bigger correction so this was about 67 percent so this was about the exact same type of drawdown that we saw in chain link the only difference is, is it's happening much earlier and so i think that this has caused a lot of people to be shaken out a lot of people are calling for tops and that's going to be the way that this cycle works because this is a long-term bull trend. Bitcoin hasn't even broke 20,000 yet. And for that, I don't really expect that the bulk of this bull run is going to be ensuing until we start hitting that all-time high mark in Bitcoin. And that's just the way that this generally works. Now, a lot of the older high caps in the last cycle started front-running Bitcoin a little bit. And I think that that was just because it was super hyped at the time for altcoins. It was a really hyped altcoin cycle. Um, I don't expect that this is going to behave much differently. In fact, I just think that Chainlink has kind of front ran the market. It's already broken all time highs. It's been leading the way. There are other altcoins that have kind of done the same thing, but less of them as the last cycle. You know, it was maybe like Dash, maybe like XMR, you know, some of those older coins. I mean, even XRP waited until about late spring, uh, about March of 2017 before it started breaking out and going crazy. And so a lot of these altcoins are going to be suppressed. A lot of them aren't going to be doing what Chainlink is doing. And Chainlink has been the outlier, which is actually the exact reason why I accumulated some at this low level. You know, I just saw it as a perfect opportunity. You know, we saw what happened with COVID, guys. We saw what happened here. You know, we had this nasty sell-off from Chainlink about 73% of a sell-off inside of uh, the COVID crash. And then after that, we immediately rebounded on the upside. And in fact, it did not take long before we were breaking well above and beyond that COVID crash mark. And this is where I was actually accumulating a lot of chain link. I started opening margin longs at $3.70, about right here. And then I started really accumulating a lot of spot right here. I accumulated a lot of spot back down in here as well. Um, but then when it started breaking out and it started going up so parabolic and hit 20 bucks, I told everybody that I wasn't going to be accumulating anymore for my long terms, because at the time, I honestly expected that this was going to keep going up. However, we pulled back. Because we pulled back and we're approaching single digits again, I managed to accumulate some more. Too good of an opportunity to pass out, to pass up. I mean, we saw how quick Chainlink rebounded. Sure, it was a 70% sell-off, but then, you know, it immediately rebounded 260% on the upside. And so when I see this, I see pretty much the same type of opportunity. I see the same type of thing really playing out. The only difference is this is just a really good discount that I did not expect coming uh, at this point in the bull cycle. But the, nonetheless, guys, you got to just look at it as that. You got to look at it as a good time to be just accumulating. Anytime we get a dip of any kind, it's a really good chance to just add to your long terms because that's just the way that is smartest. And I mean, in my opinion, what we can see here forming is just another one of those parabolic trends that we've been watching for. You know, who knows? Maybe we go for one more little low here. 
it doesn't really change anything. My personal trading plan is going to stay the same. Um, but if we do manage to get for one more low, obviously I'll have to redraw this. But it's not going to really change a whole lot. Either way, I still expect that this is going to continue to go up a lot higher. And we'll just draw this over like this a little bit more. And so we're just going to watch and see really what is going to happen from Chainlink, whether we get the bottom and it's already in right now, or whether we get one more dip to this trend line before going up higher. You know, it doesn't really change anything for me. Either way, I'm going to be buying that dip. I'm going to be doing what I can to accumulate. Uh, but both roads lead the same path. And that's the thing I want to point out here, guys, is this is just a parabolic trend that's beginning. You know, we really haven't had a ton of the parabolic action yet. I mean, this was mainly accumulation, especially if we drop it off a log scale. This doesn't look like much. This really doesn't even look like much here. If we're off of the log scale, this wasn't what I would consider parabolic. This part was. But this is us still building momentum on this parabolic trend. And now, for me personally, this type of move that we see right here could be one of the first big impulses that we see in this parabolic trend before we go you know, much, much higher. And I don't know how crazy it's going to get. Like I've stated in the past, I expect Chainlink to be upwards of about two to $500 per every link. And I just think that this is going to be the part where we really start expecting to see the big part of that bull run where everything goes super parabolic for link. You know, I don't think that we're going to have too many big drawdowns. You know, maybe we still continue to see some 50 to 60% pullbacks, but the way in which the dip is bought up is going to happen quick. And that's going to be the way that this type of outlier works. Anytime you have a big leader in the market, there's going to be a lot of value and a lot of hype driving the prices back up. And so we might get the pullbacks, but you know, the pullbacks might happen really quick. Quickly, and if you weren't already ready beforehand with buy orders set, you're going to most likely miss out on those. And so that's the thing to understand here, guys. Um, understand that this is really the parabolic start to this next cycle for Chainlink. And I do expect that we're going to get a lot more upside to be had. I mean, at the very least, whether we go for one more low, um, this itself was a big daily close, a big bullish engulfing candle, which is something I talk about a lot on this channel is just bullish engulfing candles is because they're really uh, consistent. You know, anytime you have about three or four red candles like this that are going down and then you get one big green candle that kind of dwarfs all of those, that's what's known as a bullish engulfing candle. And oftentimes it can resemble the, the bottom of a trend before a reversal, or sometimes they happen and then you get like one more final low before, you know, then going up and making the reversal. Either way, it's showing that the sellers are exhausting here and there's not much more momentum keeping this price down. And so we've actually got another nice daily close back up. And so if we dive into the shorter time frames, we can kind of see some different things. We're getting a nice buyback here after the daily close. And so we got to see how we're going to hold here. Regardless, we're, re we're heading straight back up to a major resistance. In fact, I label this resistance about right here. About 11 bucks, we're coming face to face with a pretty heavy resistance. And so in my opinion, I think it's likely that we're going to get rejected here. Um, whether we get rejected and, you know, fall to new lows, that's to be decided. But either way, I'd expect some type of pullback, maybe back down to about 940. And then from here, it is possible that we could hold support and go up. Or, you know, maybe we go back down, get rejected, and then we fall to those new lows that I was talking about. Either way, I have cash ready on hand to buy the dip. I already bought it uh, seven dollars and ninety cents. I'm going to be looking to accumulate more if we get back down to about six sixty to six dollars. That's where I'm going to be looking to accumulate more if we get the opportunity. I don't really need to buy too much. Uh, I don't really need to wait until we get to those type of levels because I already have so much chain link that I've already been accumulating. And so for me, that's really the plan as follows on the shorter time frames. Plan as follows on the bigger time frames is just once again to hold and accumulate as much as I can during the dips because this to me is just a parabolic trend that's just waiting to come to fruition. And that's the best part about all of this, guys, is we got a lot more upside potential still to come. Like I stated, Bitcoin hasn't even broken all-time high, so the sky's the limit for where Chainlink can go. It really just depends on what uh, asset, what uh, companies, what projects, what you know entities start adopting Chainlink. And it's already been a lot. I mean, the entire market kind of hinges upon the adoption of Chainlink because the fact it solves a lot of the data transfer issues. You know, and if we ever end up getting staking for Chainlink, which I've heard a lot of people talking about, I don't know, you know, what the what the time frame for that is or anything. But if we manage to get some staking for Chainlink, that's also going to be locking away a lot of the supply. And so what we could be experiencing right now is just the early stages of that bull run, which I, you know, I personally believe we are. 
Um, and then we could get something like staking that releases, which requires exchanges, which requires you know companies that are using Chainlink to run their own nodes, and they're actually going to need to lock away a large amount of that supply. And that's always going to be good for price appreciation. On top of that, they're going to be earning dividends from staking. And so that, in my opinion, would be a huge catalyst for Chainlink moving forward. Whether it happens or not, you know, that's waiting to be decided. But either way, guys, you know, I think that this is just the beginning of this parabolic move. I expect a lot more upside from Chainlink. And so just to be a long-term investor inside of this coin is a smart move because it has been the outlier the entire way. You know, it's following pretty much identically to the early day Ethereum cycle. Uh, obviously, there can be some differences, but I personally believe that this thing goes really, really high and we maintain, you know, a lot more uh, upward price trajectory just because of the fact this thing is solving such a key issue inside of the markets and that's the biggest thing guys in order for blockchain to successfully merge with all of the centralized servers and databases that we have we really do need something to be able to middleman all of the data transfer which is exactly chain link and obviously you could make the argument for band but in my opinion in my opinion, Band is obviously a lot further behind than Chainlink. It doesn't have the partnerships. It doesn't have the same market cap. And in fact, Band is more or less just pumping just because Chainlink is. And that's kind of the way I think it's going to go. Uh, I personally am a much bigger supporter of Chainlink. It's got a much bigger proven track record than any of the other ones out there. And for that, I mean, we really only need one Oracle. You know, the more you know, it, it's whatever at that point. But for me, I'm going to go with the leader. I'm going to go with the one that's been outperforming the majority of the market, which is once again Chainlink. And so I just wanted to keep you guys updated with that wanted to give you guys some uh, analysis inside of what I'm personally going to be doing with Chainlink I expect that this dip is going to be bought up pretty quickly whether we go for one more low that dip will also be bought up quickly and you know if we do get one more low at that point you know that I'm just thankful for that I don't necessarily expect it um, but if we do manage to get that, I'm going to be super grateful to buy more. I'm also going to be looking to accumulate a lot more of some of these other coins. So I'll keep you guys updated with all of that as follows. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to keep you informed. Now, quickly, before we wrap things up, I wanted to take a couple minutes to explain how you guys can sign up for the video course and signals for the people that want to. Now, the video course is obviously the first thing. Um, the video course is going to teach you guys all of my skills that I actually go about trading inside of these markets. You're going to learn all of the technical skills that I do when it comes to technical analysis. Learn some more beginner stuff, support and resistance, trend lines. Jump into some more intermediate stuff with Fibonacci and market cycles. And then jump into some more advanced stuff like how to take profits, you know, risk management, and some things like that. It's packed full of all of the information that I honestly wish I had when I first got into these markets. Because at the time, I didn't know what I was doing. you know. And because of that, I, I actually missed out on a lot of opportunity. Um, had I known some of these key basic factors factors that I actually teach you inside of that course. And so if you guys want to learn how to trade these markets by yourself, I always recommend that you guys go with that. Now for the people that would rather just follow along with all the trades that I take, if you guys can only pick one, I always recommend going with the signals first because of the fact you guys can copy along with all the trades. You can make that profit. You can take that profit. And then if you really want to pursue this full time, I always recommend that you use some of that profit for the course itself because that at that point is just kind of house money. That's what you created with just following along with what I'm doing already. And so you guys can actually purchase those together or separate. Links are going to be provided inside of the description of this video where you guys can actually find my website to buy both of those. You know, once again, you can purchase them together or separately. Now, for the people that would rather, you know, once again, if you guys don't want to actually pay any money and you want to just kind of get an idea of what the course is or kind of what I'm doing inside of my group, you guys can also download my free ebook, which is going to be linked inside the description as well. Download that. There's like 38 pages full of exciting information. It's going to teach you guys basically all the stuff that I'm doing right here on the channel. You guys are going to get a nice little introduction on how to understand these markets. And from there, you're going to actually be able to go about profiting. And so make sure you guys download that. Make sure you guys sign up for the VIP content. Tons of exciting stuff. The markets have never looked better. And so I just appreciate each and every one of you supporting me along the way. You know, it's exciting. We're going to have a lot more price appreciation still to come. And I'm super happy to have you guys here. With all that being said, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. As always, peace out.